Now, what's going on, everybody? It's the Fifth Avenue Project. We are back at it with another episode. Now, for today, I'm going to show you how to install backgrounds on your Fire TV stick um, using your own customized pictures. Now, in, if you saw in my other videos, I was showing you guys how to um, create your own custom skin with Aeon Knox using um, images from your PC. And uh, being that this is a Fire Stick, things are a little bit different. I'm going to show you exactly how to first find your backgrounds if you have a pre-configured build like Pulse or The Beast. I'm going to show you where, the, where um, developers typically keep the background images. Then I'm going to show you how to use the EX Explorer to get that onto your Kodi Fire Stick. All right, so let's just get right into it. First thing you want to do if you don't have ES Explorer is download ES Explorer. You're going to want to download ES Explorer. So for you, for, for those of you that don't know, you just go to search and you search for ES. Once you press the space right here, you'll see it. You go to ES Explorer. You select it right here. And then mine says open right here but in your case it would say download once you download that you'll have it everything is there all right so that's you, you make sure you get the es explorer and if you if you guys haven't installed cody and you don't even know what the es explorer is be sure to check out my other video where i show you how to install cody onto your um, amazon fire tv stick all right so if you already have cody you're good if you don't check out my other video if you don't have ES Explorer, just do what I just told you, showed you to do, and you should be good. I'm going to go right into Cody. I'm going to go to Cody. All right, so we are inside Cody. If you have a pre-configured build, like I said, like Pulse or the Beast, the developers typically keep the background images here. I'm going to show you exactly where they keep them. So you go to System, you go to Add-ons, you go to Install from Zip File, then you look for External Storage. They're going to keep it here. External Storage. And then you're going to go to Android, hit Data, go down here where it says org.xbmc Cody. You're going to hit that, hit Files, and it will be here. I don't really have anything here right now. As you can see, everything is, I, I reset my um, Fire Stick to Fire Defaults the other day because I was walking somebody through how to do it. But um, it would be here typically. You would see it right there. You would see something here that says um, Cody, then user data. And then once you see user data, you'll see something like backgrounds. You can see, you could even see it down here. You see down here? All down here? That's basically everything you clicked on. The forward slash just indicates the path. But like I said, I don't have any of that here because if you look at my build it's literally right back at the drawing board so I, I i didn't get this from any developer or anything like that once you're inside es explorer pay careful attention guys you're going to go over to network see that on the library you expand network you're going to go over to land then once you hit land you're not going to see anything but what you're going to do is go all the way to the bottom here And then come over, you see right here, I'm at new. I went over to scan. You want to hit scan. It should find everything on your network. Make sure your other devices are on at the moment. Like if you have a laptop, turn it on. If you have a desktop, turn it on, Mac, whatever. Phone, turn everything on. Once you scan here, it's going to scan the machines on your network. All right. It's going to load up. Give that a minute. All right, so 
You see me, I got a couple machines on the network. I got my work group on there. What you'll want to do from here, then I'm going to select the machine. I'm going to select the machine that has the images that I want to use. In this case, I'm going to use a laptop. Okay, so I'm going to select that machine. Now here, whatever the username and password is for the machine you're trying to get into, or if it's a phone, or if it's a Mac, you do the same thing you would do when you, if you were logging into your, your laptop. In my case, it's a laptop. I'm just going to put my user credentials in the same way I would if I was in front of the laptop. So I'm going to take a quick minute here and fast forward the video. All right, so I have my information in, my username, my password. Once you, once you set that in, you're going to go over to OK, hit enter on your Fire Stick Remote. All right, so you see I'm in there now. Got the IP address up top. So you're inside, basically, your laptop and your Fire Stick are on the same network, on the same LAN. So once you're on the same LAN and you log into your laptop, all you got to do is go find the pictures on your laptop so you can bring it over to your Fire Stick. Easy, 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 guys. All right, so let's get to the next step. Next step would be, next step would be to find your folder. So go over to where it says Library and hit right on your Kodi remote. And I go wherever you. I don't know where you saved your images, but I save my images. To my desktop to make it easier here so you see how I did that I went to users now I'm gonna go to the name of the machine then I'm gonna go back to library and go over to desktop you see that but you guys can save this anywhere so boom you go there and um, go back over to the library and then I'm going to hit, see these, these are the name of my folders right here. You can see it, Kid Zone, Movie Background, you see some stuff I have here. These are the name of the tabs on the main menu if you look at my other videos. So if we, we're just going to, for today, let's just do, I'm going to do, um, let's do Settings and Tech. I'm going to click on Settings and Tech. All right, so see that those images right here? You see these images? I want to use those two images for my Cody Fire Stick. All right, so go back out. Follow my lead, guys. Go back out. Go to the folder now. Go to the folder. That's the folder I want to use. So you're going to hold the Enter button. Hold the Select button on your Amazon Fire TV Stick. Hold it down. See, now once you hold it down, you want that check mark. You see the check mark right here? Make sure that's checked. That's the folder you're going to use. Now, leave it checked. You see me now I'm back over on this side now. You see where it says network, library? Left side of the screen, guys. Follow me right here. All right, so you're going to go back down. And then you're going to, you see over here? And now I'm at the, all the way at the bottom. Settings, copy, cut. You see me moving over? All right, so you want to hit more. See where it says more. So you're going to hit that. And that's how you copy the files to the Fire Stick. So you hit more. Right? And then you're going to select copy to. You go copy to. All right? So the path you're going to use, now pay attention. It's not hard. You just got to, like, just, just follow the lead here. So the fire stick, this is, these are the machines on our network, so we know that's not the fire stick. The fire stick should be, you're going to see this symbol. When you, when you select enter on this, you're going to see at the top left corner, it says forward slash storage, forward slash emulated, forward slash zero. If you, if you selected that, you did the right thing. You're in the right area. Once you're in here, once you're in here, go to Android. Just make sure up here. You see up here, you make sure that says something similar to that. If not, you're in the wrong device. All right, go to Android. You're going to go, you get over the data, go over the data. Hit enter on your remote. Select on your remote, I mean. 
Then you're going to go to org. You go to org.xbmc.cody. Remember how I showed you in the beginning of the video how a lot of developers typically um, save it there? So that's what we're doing. All right? So you're going to hit enter on your remote, select on your remote, and then you're going to go to files. All right? So now we're in files. Hit enter on files. All right? So this is where we're going to save it. And again, the entire path is up here. The whole thing is up there. All right, then go to the bottom of the screen, select OK. Hit enter on your remote or select on your Kodi Fire Stick remote. All right, see how it says copy the files? So basically, your computer, this is the computer again. Those files, those files are in my computer. All these files are on the computer. All these folders are in my computer. What I just, all I did was the settings and tech folder, I copied that to the folder in my Amazon Fire TV stick. All right, so let's, let's get out of here. I'm going to exit, 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 back, 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 back. Now we're going to go into Cody now. Basically, the folder that I got, I'm going to use the images. Those two images, I'm going to use it for, for the background on my, on my system. I'm going to use those two images that I pulled from my laptop onto my Fire TV stick. What you would do is, what you, go to, what you do here, you go to Skin Settings. You go to Skin Settings, and you're going to go to Background Artwork, and then you're going to go to multi-image because we had two images there you could select one if you have one but we have multi-image then um, we're going to go find images that we just pulled from the machine you see how down here that's what we saw on um es file explorer you see down here right guys we saw that in the es file explorer so what you're going to do is you're going to hit external storage android data same steps that we did in the beginning of the video. Watch. You're going to see files this time. See that? Settings and tech? That was the name of the folder that I pulled from my laptop. Now it's populated. Before, in the beginning of the video, it wasn't populated. But now, now it's populated. All right? So we're going to put that. All right? So once you select the folder, you don't see anything there. But just hit OK on that. Hit OK. Watch. Watch this. Boom. Look at that. And watch it, watch it change up, just like how you saw in my other videos on my Windows machine. And remember, this is my Fire Stick. Watch that change up. Boom. Look at that. Guys, it don't get no easier than that, man. So you can select your own images from your own machine, your PC, your phone, your Mac, anything you got. Any machine, any phone, any, any device that stores a picture, even a camera. That was a general background path. Now, if you want to get more particular... The general background. When you select general background, it doesn't do it by the tab. So the images are the images are going to save. I just wanted to show you guys how to get the images on there. Now, now if you want to get images per item on your, like for example, you see how I have DVD drive stream programs. You can make images for a particular item on your your main screen. For that, I use something called Aeon Knox. You can see that in my other videos. I'll leave the links in the description below. Basically. Once you know how to get the images from another device onto your Fire Stick, you're all good. Now, if you have Aeon Knox, what you could do is you could have a certain set of images for TV shows, a certain set of images for music, program, stream, etc., etc. I just wanted to show you guys how to get images from other devices on your network onto your Fire Stick. And, and as you can see, we did that today. All right. But if you want to get more in depth with it, look at my other videos, how to customize your skin. Using A on Ox, I'll leave the, uh, the links in the description below. Let's say you've been changing your background images for a while and you want to you wanna actually delete folders from your Fire Stick that you pulled from your laptop or MacBook, let's say. What you're going to do is, if you're going to delete anything from your Fire Stick, 
you have to come to local. So hit local. We're going to delete that same folder, settings and technology or whatever it was named. We're going to delete that just to show you guys if, you know, if you're running out of space. Because as you can see here, Fire Sticks are not going to have the same amount of space as a desktop or a high-powered laptop or MacBook. So sometimes people put so many images on their machine and then it bogs down their Fire Stick and they want to know how to get rid of a certain... Um, they want to know how to get rid of a certain folder or file. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Once you're in here, all right, so once you're in local, you're going to go to home, then you're going to go to Android, then you're going to go to, you're going to go to data, then you're going to go over to, then you're going to go over to org.xbmc.cody. Then you're going to go over to files, and then you see right there, settings and tech, that's the folder we pulled from the laptop. We pulled that folder from the laptop. This is it locally on the Amazon Fire TV stick, but we want to delete it here. I'm just going to show you guys how to delete it. You see that? You hold you hold the select button on your Kodi, on your um, Amazon Fire TV stick remote. Hold down the select button or the enter button. Then I'll go all the way down at the bottom of the page, all the way down. Then I'm going to select delete. You see delete right here between the words cut and rename? Hit select on that. See, and it's asking if you want to remove it to the recycle bin. You're going to go, yeah. That's gone. So now if we exit out of there and go back into Cody, you're going to see that the images is no longer on Cody because you just deleted it from the fire sticks. All right, guys, so see, we took away the images by deleting it from the fire stick. It's right back to the default background. That's all for today, guys. Hope you learned a little bit today. We'll see you on the next video, all right? You. Yeah.